Hey YouTube, welcome back guys. So today we're gonna go over some of this uh, Samsung S10 E, S10, and then S10 Plus. The camera and video features on this uh, phone real quick. Okay. So let's go through the basics. So currently we're on the 12 megapixel uh, wide angle camera, which is uh, in the middle. And then uh, if you hit the left button right here or the icon, so we are in the 16 megapixel, 16 megapixel ultra wide uh, camera. And then the field of view is 123 degree and aperture is the f2.2. Uh, so the 12 megapixel wide angle camera it has a super speed dual uh, pixel automatic focus, optical image uh, stabilization, field of use is a uh, 77 degree dual aperture, either uh, f1.5 uh, or f2.4 uh, mode. And then the one on the right hand side, this one is the 12 megapixel uh, telephoto camera. There's a PDF and then a optical image stabilization. Field of view is only a 45 degree. And then the aperture is a f2.4. So if you uh, click on the upper left hand side right here, the set up uh, the setting uh, gear icon. Right here, you could do like a scene uh, optimizer shot uh, suggestion, flawed detection, and uh, for the picture you can select uh, motions uh, photos, which is a uh, record a short clip of uh, what happened before each uh, picture. And if you hold the shutter button, it's to take a uh, burst uh, shots. So you can change it to take a picture or create a G uh, GIF. And right here is to, to set your video uh, resolution for the rear. Okay. And if you have a drop down menu, you can set it to uh, Ultra HD 60 frames per second, which is uh, 3A40 by 2A60. Or you could do an Ultra uh, HD. Or Full HD with the 60 frame. Right now I'm the Full HD and you could also set on a regular HD with the 720. And uh, this is a 16 by 9 ratio. You can change to full, which is a 19 by 9, or you can set it to 1 to 1. And then for the front uh, video size, you can change it to 16 by 9 and then you can change the resolution. You can have a Ultra HD for the front uh, video and Full HD and then HD. And again, you can set it to full or one to one. And this is advanced recording option. You can choose a high efficient uh, video and then uh, also on the HD or 10 plus video. You can turn that on. Either or. And if you, if you don't want to have a shaky uh, video, you want to turn on the video stabilization right there. Okay. But uh, this is different from the super steady, okay? And uh, the HDR rich tone, you can apply when needed. Tracking auto focus, you can turn that on, so it automatically focus for you. But uh, once you turn that on, the stabilization, it is off. And then a grid line, if you want to turn on the grid line, 
Yeah, you can uh, have a three by three or square. Let's see if you, what it look like. With. So let me cover the camera. So that's a three by three. You see the grid line. Let's go back there and change it to square and see what happened. So that's just a square, like an Instagram square. Let me uh, turn it off. And then you could also turn on the location tag. So every time when you take a video or uh, pictures, it will tell you exact uh, location. Camera mode. And then uh, here is a shooting mode. Shooting mode. I like this feature, show palm. So whenever I show my palm, instead of hitting the shutter button or uh, power button to take the picture, right? Hold my hand out, it, and then move it out. You automatically take the picture for me, which is awesome. And you can also turn on the voice uh, control. Oh, so if it says I uh, can't use a voice control while Bixby, Bixby voice uh, wake up is on. So you gotta turn that off. And then there's a floater shutter button. If you want an extra floater shutter button, you can also turn that on. So yeah, so you can see the floor, extra uh, floater uh, shutter button is right here. Instead of hitting right here, you can, you can hit it right there and snap the picture. And a shortcut, if you don't want this, you can just drag it back. Camera mode. Let's see, there's an edit mode. Okay, there's a whole bunch of different mode right here. There's a full, panorama, pro, light focus, video, photo, and super slow motion, slow motion, and then a hyperlapse. And then you turn this on, keep using the last mode so you don't need it. Or oh, every time we turn uh, the camera on, it will automatically reset back to whatever mode, regular mode. So by keep uh, using the last mode, for example, if you're on the video mode, it will stay there, okay? Or if you're in the slow motion mode. Okay, there's a quick uh, lunch mode. By pressing the power twice, you automatically open the camera for you, okay? In case you got an accident, you just hit the power button twice. So you take a picture of uh, what's going on or video or whatever. And then a quick review, you could also turn that on. V uh, view pictures immediately after you uh, take, uh, take them. Shutter sound, you could turn this on or off. And the other one just uh, reset setting back to uh, factory setting. And if you want, you can click on about uh, camera. So let's go back to, to the camera right, right here real quick. As you can see on the fl uh, flash, right now it's off. If you hit it, you can put on A, which is automatic. And then uh, on the right hand side, it's just uh, on all the time when you, when you uh, take a picture. So it's on. So every time when I hit the picture, even at daytime, you automatically turn on the flash for you. If you want to off, just uh, hit it with the slash. And then uh, this is, I'm not going to talk about the timer right here. You click on that. And right now the timer is off. You can set the timer to two seconds or uh, five seconds or uh, 10 seconds. Okay. Go turn it off. Let's say it tests out for two seconds. So in case you're not ready or you need to hold the phone up. So you set it. One, two. So I took the picture for you. All right. So let's go to uh, the setting for the display. Right now it's on 3.4. As you can see on the screen, and then we change it to 916. 
which is uh, bigger. We can change to one to one ratio. And then you can change to full screen, which is awesome. All right, so I need to see everything, whatever is in the picture. And to zoom in, zoom out, all you need to do is just a uh, pinch in, pinch out. Okay. And I like this feature. Let me turn it back. So let's see, like 16. So you hit the right icon right here. This is nice. It allows you to beauty, uh, beauty on. Okay. This is for you to modify your lip to bigger or smaller or whatever. And then the nose, you could adjust it right here to toggle left and right to adjust your nose size, make it thinner or smaller, bigger. And also for the eyes, you can make it big or small. And then this is for the chin. As you can see, it says uh, chin. Let me try to cover it. Okay, it says chin. You can adjust the chin line. And then you also your jawline, okay, you can adjust it. And all, this is for you to adjust your skin tone. Before they only allow you to do that for the front facing camera, but I'm, I'm uh, pretty satisfied with this uh, setting for both. So as you see, it says uh, beauty. You can also change the filter. So right now it says uh, original. And then we can change to warm, cool, lolly. And then uh, pale. And then blossom, ivory. Okay, a whole bunch of uh, filter, filters that you could choose, okay? And then this is a black and white. And if you want, you could uh, click on the download. And then you click on download more. Got to be careful, some of those uh, cost money. So if you see the one with the arrow down without any money sign, then those are the free one. All right, so now we're going to talk about a uh, different kind of mode. Let's uh, turn off the filter. So in order to go to your camera mode, you want to go to here. This uh, first one is to take your food. So if you hit the food, make sure it's in the within that uh, area. And then you have a uh, Panorama, okay. So in order for you to take a picture, either start from uh, right, and you're gonna ask you to keep on moving. Let me try to do that first. So I took a panorama picture already, which is uh, pretty awesome because it's allow you to uh, zoom in, zoom out versus a uh, regular old panorama. It will not allow you to uh, zoom in or zoom out. Even on the iPhone, when, I, when my wife took it, the panorama is so small. I said, what is the point of uh, doing that? You can't see anything or I can't even zoom in. So Samsung did a great job on this. Let's see. And uh, if you know what you're doing, if you are pro at taking picture, you can hit on pro, okay? This will allow you to uh, modify or change your ISO from 50 to 800. 
and also allow you to change the aperture okay aperture is to make a brighter lighter or the opening of the camera lens and then here the standard setting you can change the color temperature tint contrast saturation highlight shadows okay and then uh, this is allow you to change the automatic focus or focus manually and also allow you to uh, change uh, white balance okay light focus this is uh, similar to portrait mode for the iPhones okay compared to iPhones so I like this uh, it allows you to change uh, effect the first one right here is to uh, change the blur in the background and then if you hit the second one so it is uh, spinning blur on the background and then you can adjust or toggle this bar right here to how much effect you want the picture to have that uh, effect on and then this one is the zoom so as you can see the picture is seen more like a zoom in effect and you can adjust it as well so this is a uh, pretty awesome the last one it's a color point so it allow you to take a picture oh, if you want more let me change that so it allow you to take a picture you got a color and then a black and white in the background which is a uh, pretty awesome and then uh, the other one is just a regular photo so right now we're on the wide angle and then this is a uh, ultra wide and then a telephoto so if, if you want to flip your uh, lens normally hit this okay uh, there's another alternative way is to uh, pull down or drag down either drag down or drop it up and then the front uh, facing camera you have a uh, two camera system the first one is the 10 megapixel uh, selfie camera which is uh, we are on right now okay this one is a dual uh, pixel automatic focus and few of you is uh, 80 uh, degree the aperture is f uh, 1.9 and then uh, the one on the left hand side if you hit it this one is the 8 megapixel rgb uh, depth uh, camera and then the field of view is uh, 90 uh, degree and aperture is f2.2 uh, the front facing camera is also allow you to do uh, oops it's also allow you to do a uh, light focus so let's uh, take a picture real quick let's see if I can do it like this so you could do the effect oh I didn't do the blur Uh, take a couple of them so let's uh, view the picture real quick this is done with the black and white background okay this is like a zoom 
and then a spinning. I'm not sure you guys can see in the background, it's like spinning. This is a zoom in. And this is just a regular blur. So if you want, you can, it also allow you to uh, change a uh, background effect. So if you want less uh, blur, you could adjust that. So now we see, you can see the background is not blur anymore. So you gotta adjust the blurriness. All right. You could also hit the eye. So if you there's something that you want to check online, you could search it. It says, uh, find out more uh, about a bottle of wine by uh, scanning its label. Oh, so you gotta scan the label. So there's uh, something that you like, you take a picture and you, you could go to uh, Amazon. Or oh, the other one is, uh, is a Kingda. So let's just go and click on Amazon, see if you can find something. So I guess there's no match or something like that. So, and then uh, you can click on the pencil right here for editing feature. Another thing I don't like about this uh, front facing camera is I cannot permanently set the reverse. As you can see my Stussy hat, it is in reverse. So every time when I take a picture of a selfie, I had to flip it each time, which is I don't like it. So as you see right now, the Stussy, it, it uh, reads uh, correctly now. And there's a bar on the bottom right here. You could tilt. Okay, which is uh, pretty nice. So allow you to tilt the left or right. So that's a pretty awesome feature. I don't think uh, iPhone has that feature. And then you can flip it by hitting that left icon. Or if you don't want it, you can uh, reset back to original. So I'm going to flip it again to see the Stussy. And then there are a couple of different square that you could uh, select. For example, if you want like a, this is probably a square for like an Instagram. Oh, this is awesome. You could uh, adjust uh, horizontally. Or uh, vertically. Right now we're on horizontal, okay? And then if there's a bar right here, you can adjust it. I'm not sure you can see the picture, it's like moving. And then uh, vertically. So you just had to play with it and then uh, so many uh, editing uh, feature on this one. Oops, oh, come on. And if you satisfy whatever that you just modify, you could hit the check to save it or X to go back. So that was a fourth uh, icon that we selected. And uh, this also allows you to drag around the area that you want to crop. So, so for example, I could cut this out. I'll select them manually. Okay, and then there's a deselect button as well. And then hit check. So it just uh, cut your picture out and stuff like that.
and then uh, again there's a if you hit on this one it allows you to change uh, filters so Samsung has so much uh, editing uh, feature on this which is uh, awesome okay and then uh, this one that got like, uh, stamps so many different kind of stamp this is the recent stamp that I used it before which is on the first icon and then this other other stamp that I could use or select so there are so many stamps you can put it on your picture and stuff so just uh, play with it and you can hit, hit the plus to download more but I'm not going to do that so for example, if you, there's a stamp that you like, uh, you could uh, let me just select it, this one. And then you could drag it wherever you want to put the picture, I mean to put the stamps at. You could drag it, tilt it, whatever you want, okay? And after that, you could click on Save or Reset. T is for text. And then you can drag it wherever you want to put this uh, text. This is the text. This one you can select it and then you can write on your uh, screen. Okay. You can choose uh, whatever color. Let me choose red. And then I'll put like a Mac okay and if you want to erase it or undo there's an error right here you undo it each one by one or each stroke and you can select hot pink color mac All right and then if you want to use eraser maybe you can use this one and then if you hold it you can select the size how big of the eraser you want and then just erase the whole thing which is nice and the pencil is to write so you drag whatever color you want to see blue blue this blue and then if you click on this one this is allow you to change the brightness And then the exposure, contrast, saturation, Ooh. and you can drag it to your left. This is the hue. Wow, look at that. And then the last one will be the white balance. This is a regular. What did I say? This is no. This is uh, without the white balance. And then this is auto. This is a uh, daylight. 5,500K and this is a 6,500K 2,800K k and 2,300K but this one you could allow you to adjust you can adjust uh, from 2,300K to up to 10,000K All right, let's uh, jump back to the, so you can select uh, for the rear camera, you can select the uh, regular photo, video. So in order for you to uh, choose a super steady, there's a hand right there. 
you gotta hit that and turn it on. Right now it's on super steady mode. So whenever you're running, shaking, or recording the video, it does not shake as much. I had a video on that. You can check them out. So I forgot to uh, mention that if you guys uh, take the super steady shot, and then after that you don't want to take it, make sure you take it out. So it allows you to select back to your uh, wide angle, ultra wide, and then your uh, telephotos. Okay. And then there's a super slow motion. It tells you to do it for the best result, record in the bright natural light. So it, it is better to record outside with the natural light if you need to do like a super slow motion. And I forgot to mention, uh, when you go to super slow-mo, there's an option right there on the top. Record when uh, motion detect, you can turn it on or off. So you don't need to have somebody push it for you, okay, to record. So you can turn that on. Record when motion detect it is on. And also on the right-hand side, it can allow you to record a 0.4 second or 0.8 second. Okay, after you set the record with the motion detect on, now you're going to hit the record button right here. Once you hit the record, keep your phone, I mean, wait for motion in the square. So if something moving in the square, I move. It's going to automatically record it. Okay, so let's see what's it doing. So it says saving the motion uh, record. So let's click on that and then uh, click on play. So it automatically has a uh, music. Wow. And then after that, you could uh, share this or set it as wall wallpaper or move to a secure uh, folder. I'm going to delete it. Here are some of the samples that I record for the super slow motion. So let's go ahead and then... Uh, right now, after you save it, or after you... Uh, right now, after you record it, you cannot zoom in or do whatever. You had to go and then uh, play it first. And then after that, you could drag which part you want to save, okay? By uh, dragging this, uh, by dragging this uh, button. The first, first at the beginning and at the end, those are the regular speed within the, this uh, rectangular with those uh, two dots, those are the slow motion uh, frame. See, as you can see, I, I adjust it. I can select at what point I want to uh, the video to start and stuff like that. And then after that, you might want to shorten the video. So after I adjust it, and then that's what it looks like within the you got just what part of the slow motion that you want to select. And then you could drag it to make it shorter on the right hand side here. What the? I don't know, the touch is not working too well or something. And then after that, you're going to click on sh share or save or mute the music. I'm going to click on it save so it's saving the your video right now all right so after you save it now you can go back then and try to view, view it so this is the original video because you cannot zoom in or zoom out so that I mean that's the original video so this is the one that we just saved and then if you want to watch full screen, you can zoom in, okay? 
but you might miss up the top section because when I only with my hand that uh, it is pretty high up there so let's go check out another video that I did the So this one is the one that I uh, added already. So as you can see, when you zoom in, you cannot see that high. Okay, you can zoom to fit. Let's play again. Alright, so that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. And then there's also a regular slow motion right here. Okay. And let's go through the slow motion setting. With a slow motion, you can turn on the flash, either automatic or on. And there is a hyperlapse. And then uh, for, for the hyperlapse, you could also turn on the flash or auto and then uh, there's a, the speed right now it's on auto speed you could select uh, 4 time or uh, 8 time or 16 time or 32 times okay so we start recording let me do like a slow and then it's gonna move so fast Let's uh, go ahead and play that real quick. Alright, that's a uh, hyperlapse. Anyway, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up and then uh, like the video. Please uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell for notification, or drop in the comments on below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next uh, video. Like always. Peace.